Hello, everybody. I got a order in from Rosalind. I got a tip for you. If you want fast nail art supplies from AliExpress, order from either Rosalind or Savaland. They both have warehouses in California. They're shipping out of California. You get your stuff in two to three weeks. It's great. It's not your typical AliExpress two, three months thing. And they have fantastic stuff cheap. So here is a Rosalind order that I just got in the mail. And it only took two weeks to get here, which was fantastic. So let's show you the first thing I got. I love, love, love this gel brush. Love it. Look at this. It was like a dollar and 59 cents. It's beautiful. It's got all the little sparklies in the handle. Okay. And look, look at the quality of this brush. It is gorgeous. It is so pretty. I don't want to use it. This is the brush that I use all the time for gel. It's just an old Beatles wooden handle, nothing fancy, a little crappy gel brush, but it works good. But this is so darn pretty that I don't even know if I'm going to, I want to use it. I'm going to use it. I'm sure I'll use it, but I mean, it's just, it's gorgeous. I think what I'll have to do is I have to get another one since they're so cheap and I'll just put that up on a shelf to look at it because it's pretty and then I'll use this one. But don't you love that? For like a little over a buck and a half. You can't beat it. Okay, the next thing I got was I went poly gel crazy. You can see all right here, all these poly gels. Okay, you have big 30 ml bottles and they were all right around $3 or just like $3 and a couple pennies more uh, for those. And then I've got all the, the um, 15 um, ML bottles, the smaller ones, and they were all right around $2 a piece. So, you know, the big bottles were definitely the better deal, but they didn't have all the colors that I wanted in the big bottles. So I, you know, got the colors I wanted in what was available. So the first thing, and I swatched them all out for you instead of you know, getting tired of doing the rip and open the package thing. So here we go. I just laid it all out and I tested it all for you. So the first thing we got is we have the Rosalind Temperature poly gel. That's like a thermal poly gel. And this is a white purple combo. So I got a nice hot glass of water here, boiling water. And this is what it looks like in its room temperature cool state. It's a nice white. A lot of the uh, poly gels, um, they're supposed to be white like this one. That's eh, almost kind of a yellowish white, but this is like a true white. So that's nice. So let's see what happens in the hot water. See, so we're putting them in and because I tried putting it in cold water and it didn't really do anything. So I'm thinking, well, then it's got to be that it color changes in hot water. And oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Holy cow. There you go. Voila. Isn't that pretty? It, it's um. Let me put it back in the hot water. It's like almost a really um, lavender purple. It's not a, a dark, dark purple. It's a real pretty, pretty lavender. So there's your color change in one. That's cute. And they're neat because they'll be uh, this color on your nail bed. And then your tip will be the white. So that'd be good for Frenches. Alrighty. So that's that one. Then the next one we have is the Rosalind Cat Eye Gel. This is, does it have a RE09-61? Okay, they're by numbers. So this is Rosalind Cat Eye Gel. It's kind of a, a pretty purple. So I did that two ways for you. And it also, uh, I also bought for just like a buck, a cat eye magnet. Okay, so I did that two ways for you. I did that on a clear swatch stick. Okay, and it's really just a really pretty, it's got a lot of glitter in it. And uh, on the clear, you I did the cat eye magnet on it, and you don't see the cat eye effect that much on the clear. It's really, really, but it's really pretty. I mean, that'd make a gorgeous glass nail. So, but where it really shows up best, you know, like all cat eye polishes, is on a dark color. And there you see the... Um, magnet effect you can see the stripe right in there but uh, this camera does not do it justice as to how sparkly and uh, really how much depth that this color has it is really really a 
beautiful, beautiful poly gel. That is gorgeous. Okay, so the next one we have is a jelly. I got two jellies. This is a green jelly, and it is RE09-42. So we have the green poly gel, and um, with the uh, it's a jelly type green. And so with the jellies, the one problem I have with the jelly poly gels, the colored ones, is bubbles. So it's a really pretty jelly green. But you can see if you look real close, I got like a little tiny, couple little tiny bubbles right in there, but not too bad on this green. But it's a really pretty clear jelly green. And then we have a jelly red, which is RE09-46. And the jelly red was real pretty. This would make a, a pretty Christmas nail, but uh, oh, I got a big old bunch of bubbles in that one. Can you see on the end, all those bubbles? Let's see. Yep, there you go. Uh, three bubbles right in the end. So, and I didn't have that problem with the, any of the other of these poly gels. The only one that seemed to want to get bubbles in it were these jelly ones. Okay, but in that, it's still pretty. You just have to work with it. I left them in there on purpose to show you what you're going to come up against. All right, now the next one we have... We're in the bigger tube, and this is a straight up red poly gel. And let's see, this one is RE06 A611. Okay, red poly gel. This is in the bigger 30 ml bottle. Uh, 30 ml is equivalent to about one ounce, the 15 is about half ounce. And that is a real pretty color red. It's almost like a uh, like a rosy, ro or a pinky rosy red. Okay. And this went on real nice. Their solid color one. I mean, it just went on. You can see the back. It went on smooth to silk. Look at that. Lumps in that thing at all. Really nice. Okay. And then the next color we have. And these are my two favorite colors. I love these so much. That I think I'm going back online tonight and buy every other glitter poly gel these people have. This is called Shiny Poly Gel by um, Rosalind. And in the 30 ml. And this one is RE06-22. Okay. Check this out. This is gorgeous. I love this. These nails that I did. Which were poly gel. Well, in the dark poly gel. Are lasting so well and are so sturdy. But as soon as Christmas is over, oh yeah, the drill's coming out and these babies are getting ripped right off because I gotta have some of this stuff. Can you see this with snowflakes? Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. It's good. Come on, camera focus. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? I'll show you the back. And it went on smooth too. Look how and, and I not thick and just oh perfect. That is so beautiful. And this one has like some little greenish and little gold flecks in it. And, you know, of course, you do it on a, on a clear nail. It'd be a nice glass nail. Oh, beautiful. Okay. And then the next one is Shiny Poly Gel. And it is RE06-21. The other one was 22. This is 21. Okay, and you know, in the big bottle, the 30 ml, and look at this one. This one is just as pretty. It is really gorgeous. This one has, come on, camera, focus. Focus, camera. There we go. This one has like some little purple uh, flecks and like greenish looking flecks. And oh my gosh, that is so, so, so pretty. And it went on, like I said, like smooth as silk. No lumps, bumps. Like you get it on nice and thin. Went on really well. And um, maybe it's just my personal experience or opinion, but I use base gel as a um, slip solution with this. I tried rub rubbing isopropyl alcohol, and uh, oh, it's horrible. Did not work good at all. But the uh, use a, a base gel. I could just sell Beatles base gel. Just whatever base gel you got. And it works like a charm. Oh, got some green coming through there. Isn't that the prettiest thing? Okay, then where do you see this? This is so cool. And I think this was only like a buck and a half or something for a little jar. It's called bubble gel. Okay, and it just looks like clear gel. 
in in a pot a little little pot like this right so what you do is you put down a base color on your nail uh, make it a darker color and then you put a lighter color on top okay i used a uh, beetles kind of a dark uh, medium blue glitter polish out of their mermaid mantra set and then on top of it i put an e-nail couture bb01 a white ombre gel because it's real translucent and that's what worked the best for this okay because what you uh cure on the blue and then I went ahead and put the ombre gel on top. Do not cure the ombre gel. Then you take a dotting tool and you dot this bubble gel all over the nail. Okay. And voila, look what it does. Oh, isn't that cool, people? That is so cool. And then you cure and then top coat and cure again. But man, you could do some awesome mermaid or snake skin or I don't know, something with that. So dark color. Light translucent color on top, dot your bubble gel on with your dotting tool, and voila, look what you get. That is super cool, isn't it? Ooh, neat. And I'll show you, I did it. I did it on a solid turquoise color with a sheer glitter turquoise on top, and um, it's really kind of hard to see. You can barely see the dots. The colors were too close to the same. You got to use a more contrasting color to get it to turn out. But when you do, you get this, and it is so Super, super, super cool. Okay, so once again, that is the Rosaline Bubble Gel for like, I don't know what it is, buck and a half, two bucks a little pot. This whole entire batch of stuff I'm showing you here, total was 26 bucks. There was no shipping charge, no nothing, just $26. That's it. That's all I paid for all this stuff. That was a great deal. Now we have the Blossom Gel. Now I have done some Blossom Gel type designs and I just used kind of base gel as a Blossom Gel. I was just kind of cheating and they turned out kind of neat, but this stuff worked way better. So what I did was I took a black swatch stick because I didn't feel like getting out black polish and painting anything black and uh, I put a base coat on it, cured it, and then I just put a coat of this on. Okay, and after I put a coat of that on, I just have some cheap old red polish. Who knows what it is, where it's just something from AliExpress, some brand you never even heard of. I don't think it's full beauty or something. Yeah, full beauty. But just red, okay? And I went ahead and did it with a little brush and just like little swipes around in a circle. Okay, a little and voila, look at that. You get this cool rose. Isn't that neat looking? And it just makes that, that polish just kind of bleed right out like that. And there you go. I really like that. That is cool. I'm going to have to play with this and look up different designs to do with this. It is really neat. So that is all in that swatching and haul. Hope you have a good evening, people. Hope you enjoyed all my experimenting. Highly recommend off AliExpress, Rosalind or Savaland. Fast shipping, super cheap, great stuff. Good evening.